Hi, I'm Kathy. This week, what I'm going to do is answer an email question. Um, I got an email here from Jim, who's a middle school teacher in Nevada, and he says that he's working on layered curriculum units over the summer for his middle school um, uh, science class, life science and earth science, which is great. I know everybody likes to spend time in the summer getting unit sheets put together. But one of the things he's concerned about is that he's going to get in a rut with sea layer activities because he said what he's done is he's come up with some uh, sea layer activities, 14 different types of activities. Uh, he's got here mini lecture, vocabulary activity, poster projects, rap, songs, etc. But what he's doing is keeping the units the same and just changing the topic, and he's afraid that they're going to get into a rut. And my suggestion to him is, yeah, you are going to get into a rut. It's really tempting. I used to jokingly say to people, I would just pull up last week's unit and take out bird and insert mammals and print it off. And in a pinch, you can do that. But you are going to get in a rut. You're going to get bored. The kids are going to get bored. So you want, might want to come up with a variety of activities and then sort of mix and match them as the years uh as the year goes by. I mean, posters are nice, but you don't want to do a poster on every single unit. Also, if you are making up a bunch of units over the summer and you're a new layered curriculum teacher, I will caution you to not spend tons and tons of time doing the whole year's units because le uh, learning to do layered curriculum takes some time. You want to go back and revise, uh, put a unit out there. You're going to see what's working, what isn't, come back and redo it. So if you've invested a lot of time making the whole year's units, uh, you may find that you're having to back up and, and redo a lot of those. So it's great to get a couple going uh, and have sort of a plan for the rest of the year, but you, you want to start slow. Uh, talk to experienced layered curriculum teachers and they're going to tell you it takes a little while to get really comfortable with this and also you'll change it as the year goes by. So, uh, so yeah, about getting in a rut. That does happen. Be really careful not to do that. You don't want all your units to look the same. You will get bored. The kids will get bored. And plus, as the year goes by, too, kids will come up with some sea layer activity assignments for you. So you want to leave that as an option for you, too. For more information, go to brains.org.